Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. So one of the biggest announcements with the iPhone 6 was the announcement of Apple Pay, which is Apple's new NFC mobile payment system. This allows you to just tap your phone and pay for things instead of swiping your card. But because of all the ID theft that goes on, it leaves a lot of people wondering how it works and if it's safe. So let's take a deeper look. So with the release of iOS 8.1, Apple finally opened up Apple Pay. This is similar to services like Google Wallet where it allows you to take your phone and tap it onto an NFC terminal and pay for things instead of swiping your card. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus have a chip inside called NFC or Near Field Communication. This allows the chip to transfer data wirelessly by just holding something near the terminal instead of having to physically read the data like you would when you swipe your credit card. Now we all know that swiping your credit card is not secure at all, and this is very easy to get your data stolen, and we all probably know someone who has had identity theft happen to them. But Apple wants to change that, so how does it work? Well, the great thing here is that instead of using your credit card number like you do when you swipe your card, Apple uses a tokenization method that actually gives you a random number for your credit card and doesn't store your credit card number on the phone. So there's no way anyone can get that number, and even if they did get the number somehow, it means absolutely nothing because it's completely random. But what if someone steals your phone? Well, there's two real ways to combat this. The first one is that when you make a payment with Apple Pay, it uses Touch ID. So it reads your fingerprint and it knows that it's you, so it'll authenticate it and actually make the payment. So if someone else tries to do it, it's just not gonna work. But also, if you lose your phone or someone steals it, you can go in to find my iPhone on your computer and wipe your phone completely of all the credit card data so none of it is there anymore. Now I know people are worried about whether or not things are in the cloud right now, it's kind of a big debate. And I would believe Apple that this isn't in iCloud because there's really no benefit for them to do this. It's kind of a lose-lose situation if they're lying about it. So I believe that it's not in the cloud. Overall, it seems to be pretty secure. So is it safe? Yes, but is it easy? Well, let's find out. To set up Apple Pay, all you have to do is go into Passbook and add a new card. Then enter the card information or take a picture of it and that's it, you're good to go. Right now, the major banks are on board with a few different retailers, but hopefully this will expand soon. But now let's go out and actually test this. So just like that, I'm back, I got my bacon jerky. That was easy. Now, Apple definitely isn't the first to do mobile payments. Google Wallet has been out for a while, but it definitely is the easiest way to do mobile payments because of Touch ID and the integration that they have with all their software and hardware. But if you love Google Wallet, then you should love Apple Pay because this is actually gonna allow you to hopefully have it in many more locations now. Apple really has a way of bringing things to mass market, so all platforms should love this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you wanna see when my new videos are uploaded, hit subscribe. My name is Matt, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.